Hello, everybody. How are you? Happy Sunday. Andrea Majeski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So the past couple weeks, I have been looking into this new whitening toothpaste. And by when I say looking into it, I mean I've been asking a lot of questions. I've been doing my own research, like literally looking up the ingredients, looking up what's so special about it, why is everybody talking about it, what the heck. Um, I've been asking myself, well, people just probably love it so much because they're the ones selling it and that's what they're being paid to say. Um, and that's just the type of person I am. Like anytime we have a lunch and learn for Sonicare, Oral-B, just any dental type product, I'm skeptical. I am. I ask a lot of questions. I am that person where everybody else in the lunchroom kind of goes, Andrea, you can stop asking questions now. You're embarrassing us. But that's just the type of person I am. And I get very impressed when the rep is able to be honest with me, when they're able to answer my questions, and when they, you know, don't get kind of like, oh, I've never been asked that question before. I don't really know, you know. So I get impressed when somebody knows their stuff and they're truthful. So let's talk about this whitening toothpaste that's, that everybody's been talking about. I'm sure you've, you've seen it on social media, on Pinterest, on Facebook, just like everywhere, right? Um, it doesn't matter if you're in Canada, the States, it's literally everywhere. I'm, I think I've been noticing it, I'm trying to think now, for at least a couple months. And I took more attention to it when I started noticing um, hygiene, um, hygiene actually and assisting um, friends of mine who were promoting it, so to speak, right? I kind of thought, okay, so I, I, I actually know these people and they love this toothpaste, so now I gotta try it, right? So I was able to get a tube um, and I will tell you guys about it late, about that later on. But let me first talk about the toothpaste. So it's called AP24 um, by New Skin. So actually, sorry, let me share my screen because I did have something to kind of show you guys. Darn, where did it go? So if I can find it. Ah, there it is. So I wanted to kind of show you guys a picture actually because I'm the type of person too where I like to see pictures. So I just kind of uploaded the two on my PowerPoint here. So this is what the tube looks like and you might be seeing a lot of these before and after photos on Facebook. So once again, I'm skeptical. So when I see these before and after photos, I think, okay, that doesn't mean that they're not using different lighting, that they're different people, that they've used, you know, different types of like Photoshop, because these days, any app you have on your phone, there's, you, you can somehow just make it look better. You can make any picture look better. So yes, I saw these and I didn't really think too much of it. I thought, yeah, whatever, right? But again, when I knew two other hygienists and one assistant who was actually using it, who loves it, that kind of got me thinking a little bit more. And then when I saw their posts specifically, and then I saw the people that they know commenting saying that they've also tried it and they love it, that had me thinking even more like, okay, so they know people, their neighbors, you know, friends, coworkers, all love it too. And I, I know that person. So I, I know that they're being truthful. So I started asking them questions. Now this toothpaste, um, it could contain um, the fluoride or not. So there's two different types. I always, always tell people with any toothpaste, make sure to add it in. Okay. So make sure it does contain um, fluoride. Okay. So I lost my, my uh, train of thought there for a second, but make sure, yes, that it does contain it because that will help to make the enamel stronger at the very least, not damage the enamel further. So when we're talking about a whitening toothpaste, typically what I tell all of my patients is don't get a whitening toothpaste if your teeth are sensitive because it does Anytime that a toothpaste claims to whiten, it, it can, uh, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it, it will contain peroxide. 
peroxide is quite coarse and it will also contain additional baking soda, which is also coarse. That is what makes the teeth sensitive. For 95% of the population, anything coarse added to their toothpaste will make their teeth sensitive. It may lighten, it may whiten, yes, but who wants whitened you know, teeth if they're just gonna be sensitive? Not too many people do. A lot of people don't, don't care and just take it as a fact of life that their teeth are gonna be sensitive, but I completely disagree with that. I would not want my teeth to be, sen um, to be sensitive. This toothpaste does not contain peroxide. So when I first heard this, I thought to myself, okay, so that it's not actually whitening, right? That's what I thought, but it does. This stuff works, okay? Another thing about this toothpaste that a lot of people don't advertise, but I will, is this will help to make the teeth look whiter. Yes, it does work. Those before and after pictures, they work and they are true. But it's because a lot of people, when they think or know their toothpaste is, is um, helping their teeth become whiter, they will make sure to brush at least twice a day, if not more. They will brush for that two to three minutes. So that is what we always want. That is what I tell my patients. Take three minutes, brush your teeth twice a day, if not three times. There are so many people out there that will only brush once a day, but I bet you those same patients, if you tell them that if you use this toothpaste to, or you know, just any toothpaste, if you use um, a toothpaste and this will help to make the teeth whiter, if you brush three times a day, they will. If, if you tell them, um, again, with any toothpaste, if you brush three times a day, I can almost guarantee you that your teeth will be whiter. They will use it. So this is one of the reasons why this toothpaste works, and it does, because people, they tend to brush more thoroughly, because if they're thinking, oh, well, this stuff, I, I, I want the same after picture as, you know, her, him, and him. So I am going to make sure to brush really, really well, and that's how they get less plaque, less tartar, less stain, which helps to whiten the teeth. But this toothpaste also does whiten the teeth without peroxide because there are certain levels in there that allow it to do so. But the main thing that it does is it helps the patient to brush more thoroughly. So that makes sense, right? But let me tell you something about this toothpaste, or I should say that people claim and really irks me is that it is claimed, not by me, but it is claimed by people who do sell this toothpaste that it will take away stain from crowns, bridges, um, uh, veneers, and that it will lighten the color. This is not true. Mind you, I don't have any crowns or bridges but it will not lighten the color because anything that has been made in the lab is typically covered with uh, porcelain or zirconia or ceramic, depending on where you live, depending on the, the type of material that your office has. You cannot make that lighter, whiter, even darker. It just doesn't happen. But around anything that has been made in the lab, such as, you know, crowns, bridges, whatever, you can have stain around them, okay? Because that would be on your enamel. This toothpaste will take away that stain, only if it's on enamel. So I'm being truthful here. This is what it does, and it does work. But don't think that this toothpaste will lighten any crowns, bridges, just anything that's made in the lab, okay? So I don't think that the sellers are lying when they say that, but they aren't a dental professional per se, or they don't quite understand how it works. There's always a fine line. So I've been doing my research now on this for at least a couple of weeks, almost a month now. So I know a little bit more about how, how these things work because I, I took the time to really check to see. 
Um, it also claims to get the coffee stains, or sorry, um, to get stains off of the teeth from like coffee, tea, and from smoking. This is true. This is true, I have seen it. Now, I drink a lot of tea and coffee. I don't drink a lot of wine here and there, yes. Um, I don't smoke, but I, I have seen it that smoke stains have been taken away. But it, it was really these same patients, though, from the ones that I talked to because they know, um, these patients knew the assistant that I was uh, talking to and they had their teeth cleaned first and then they used the toothpaste for, for they said two months and they had noticed a lot less stain. At their next cleaning, there was a lot less. They still had a little bit, but there was a huge improvement. So that only helped, or sorry, that not only helps the patient, they are so happy, but also the dental hygienist who's cleaning the teeth. So this stuff does work. Um, the only way that I, you know, can say that is because I did my own research and they will be sending me a tube. Um, I will try it for myself and let all of you know, but if anybody else would like to also try a tube, let me know and then I will send you one. I'm so excited. Um, any questions, just let me know. Um, again, this isn't um, tutoring related at all but I thought people who watch my YouTube channel are interested in you know teeth right teeth whitening anything dental and and this is something that I've been looking into more and more so if you would like a tube let me know um, I'll put the link um, to my Facebook page on the bottom or of course the website my um, Dental L website, feel free to message me through there so that I can get your um, address to send you a tube because the cost is a lot less than any um, whitening product out there. It costs a little bit more than your normal toothpaste, but it's totally worth it. So let me know. I'm so happy to help and I look forward to hearing from you soon, you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.